So I made this cute little pineapple and I cut it at about four and a quarter, about four and a quarter inches. So we're gonna put that together. And I got my glue here somewhere. There we go. And I don't understand why, but this made all the little cutouts on here. And it's gonna be covered up, so I don't know. I guess you could do it either way, maybe. And here's all the rest of the pineapple. I left it on here so I don't lose it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on first and see how we what we like better. I'm using Tombow Multi Multi Glue. And this can be either permanent or temporary. So like if you let it kind of dry, you can use it temporary. Okay. Um, line this up. that. I can do this one. I think I want this layer just for some extra color. Then we gotta get these on here just right. Yeah, I think I like that. And I think what I'm gonna do is use my black ink and put some little stitch lines on here before I put it all together. So if you follow me and you've been watching my videos, I've done several little food cards. When I was looking for what to make, I'm like, oh, I like this one, I like this one. So I was like, I'm going to make a few of them. And they were all really easy to cut out and quick. Okay, I may put... I want to see how it looks. And then I may put more on that part too. Okay, got my little stitch lines on there. Got my papers cut, except for that one. Go ahead and glue this together. Now we're going to use memento bamboo leaves. Okay. Do a little bit around the edges. That's good. Okay, let me, I want that, I want this. Glue this down. Okay. Now we gotta put these things on. Or maybe I'll just leave it on and speed it up this is going to take some time. So as long as you get them up against the edge, they're good to go. Okay, the last one. It's looking super cute. I just wish I would have like inked all the edges of these. But it's kind of too late now. I don't even have a brown marker to go over it, so. 
super cute pineapple. Like all the food's been cute. Okay, and we got a little flower here. We're gonna use cantaloupe. Right, this one will work. I wish I had a bigger one, but let me try the bone folder. I kind of round it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take my little flower. Maybe I should flip this over and see, see it better. And I'm going to kind of go around in the center to try to get the edges to pop up more. It's a little more rounder. And I'm thinking I might do some stitching around on it too. Just to... And I'm going to put this pink little gem in the center. Let's see here. Let me try it on the back. See how I like it. Yep, I think that'll be fine. Uh, maybe I could do an orange one. Well, how'd I get blue when I'm reaching for orange? Okay. Yeah, I like that better. And how I got the edges all curled. <laughs> Put a pop dot on back. I got the craft glue dots. I don't want to come off. There we go. Put some more stitching on this too. I think it'll look better if I add more. Okay, yes, I like that better. Now we get our little flower. Get up there. I'm going to add this pink gem. Just to add a little more color to it. Perfect. And I'm also going to add I don't know if it's in frame. I'm also going to add some on the brown here. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. I have my pineapple done. I added some stitching on the brown just to make it look a little nicer. I think it's looking pretty cute. So we're going to go ahead and start putting this together. Um, I am going to do tea dye stain on the edges. Okay. 
Okay. Make sure I don't have any on my fingers. Because like I've said before, I always get it all over my cards. And then they're a mess. Okay, you got the first layer. This is a quarter smaller than the A2 card. And I decided on this piece here that I made to use for the next layer. And I went and ripped around the edges because I just didn't like it looking perfect. I didn't like the perfect edges. It just, since it's a pineapple, I think it just needed a little something else. I actually been thinking about like splattering some black dots on there as well, but I think I'm just gonna leave it because I don't really even know what I would use. I'd have to get some black paint out or something. So I am also gonna ink up the edges of this with the tea dye stain. Make the little rips look um, so they stand out more. Okay, there's that. Uh, let's see, I think I wanted it this way. And I'm also going to use a little piece of the green. I was really loving this green. I was really wanted to use it and I think the way I'm going to add it in is going to really add a little more to it. And I'm going to put a little tea dye on this as well. And we're going to put that, get this where I wanted it. Right about there. I'm just loving this Distress Oxide. I think it's so cool. You can get all these colors from one color. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little tea dye to this as well. There's a little more here just to the pineapple bo bottom part. I even brush a little across it. to make it look more pineapple-y. And I'm gonna use some, some foam tape. And I'm gonna double it up so I just roll it off and fold it over on itself. And cut it. smaller ones as well. I don't know if you can hear talking, but I can't believe you can actually hear all the sounds from upstairs. And of course, every time I record, someone's got to be all noisy. This is why I like to do it late at night. It's like almost 7 p.m. And I've got to get stuff done today, so let's see, let's do a little bit more. So I got to do it earlier. Oh, and today I tried the, I don't know if you're Kroger, or if you have a Kroger. Our Kroger has a thing called ClickList, where you can order online and go pick it up. And I did it today because we're getting ready to leave for the lake tomorrow and I just had so many things to do. I wanted to get my project done. Since we stayed longer at the lake last week, I'm behind on everything. 
and I ran to the post office. The post office is like 15 minutes from me, and so is the grocery store. But I ran to the grocery, ran to the post office, dropped off my package, ran to Kroger. I actually ran in to get my produce because I didn't want them getting that. I ran and got my produce in like five minutes, well, ten minutes. Came out, went and picked up the rest of my order, and I was back home in less than an hour. And it usually takes me minimum an hour in the grocery store. That was so great. It was so great. <laughs> I was so excited. Got so much done today. Thanks to my Kroger and Click list. And no, I don't get anything for advertising. I'm not really trying to advertise, but I was just amazed and so happy because I got so much done today. Not having to spend hours in the grocery store. It was wonderful. Can you tell that I'm excited about it? <laughs> and I will use it again because it was awesome. Okay, pineapple's done. Oh, I'm loving this card. It's so, so, I don't know, what do you call it? Um, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Now let's pull all this off. Gosh, I can't get these things off. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this pineapple. Isn't it so cute? I've had my eye on this for like weeks, like trying to decide what I was going to make for this project. And I was like, I'm just wanting to make this pineapple. It's so cute. And then I made two other two other cards. A fruit and a vegetable. Which you can see on my blog as well. I don't know which one will be up first. I think the other one will be up before this one. Yeah. This one's not going to be up till the 13th of June. And the other one is going to be up actually tomorrow or Friday the like ninth and then if it I should have one more somewhere in between there so where am I at I'm looking for my here we go oh I have it here so I have my stamp already in my misty have it all lined up so I can cut out the paper oh where's my other stamp pad? here we go there's my archival jet black ink. Like I've said in my other videos, I like to uh, use this, especially on new stamps, because they don't always take the ink the first time. So you can go over it a couple times and get it just the way you want it. That one actually turned out pretty good. Perfect. It's nice and bold and crisp. Let me wipe this off. This was a scrap piece of paper. That's why it's all sticky on the back from one of my other cards. And I'm using Age to Perfection. This is on the Good Times set from Cards TV. And I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna use my cutter for this so I get it nice and straight. My problem is it's all sticky. It's got stuff on the back.
So I hope you can come over and join us. I'm guest designer on the Die Cut and Divas blog today, this week. Or, yeah, this week. I hope you can come over and join us and enter your project. It is... Um, your project is supposed to be food. On all the food uh, cards I started making because I was looking for what I wanted to make and I was like, oh, that's cute, that's cute. So... That's how I got started on the food kick. And so many food cards. Because I was like, I want to make this one and this one and this one. It's probably actually perfect. It actually needs to be thinner. And my desk is a mess because I've made three cards this week. Well, three cards in two days. And I don't... I want this to be thinner. And I haven't cleaned anything up. I usually clean up in between. Oh my gosh, it's still sticky on the back. These are one of my favorite scissors. Got these a long time ago. And they're so freaking sharp. Okay, that looks good. And I'll put some tea dye on this too. Okay. And we're going to put that right across here. I'm going to get a little bit of foam tape for it too. Let's see. I think I'll do it this way. Okay, I need to put a little extra on the end to make it higher since I popped up my pineapple. I need like two more pieces. And So I'm going to work on a background color now. I'm going to try two different ones, see which one I like better. This is the Distress Oxide Fossilized Amber. So I want to see how this comes out. Start with that one. And I'm using watercolor paper. And it's really thin paper. It is this one. Which one it is? Mead Academy. And I just have one cut kind of to size, but not completely. So I want to get it really covered a lot. Can. 
Okay, there's how that looks so far. I'll let that dry and I might put it back in a second time. Okay, here it is all dry. I really love that effect. It's just, that was just from one color and it gives you all that multiple colors. Now I wanna add a little more to it. So I'm gonna use less water. So it'll like give it more color. Okay, look at that, that is so awesome. Dry it up and I'll be right back. Okay, here that is dry. And I'm gonna do one more so I can decide what color I want. Now I'm gonna use peeled paint and do the same thing. There's a little bit of yellow still over here. want this one like really covered so it looks like watercoloring then I'll go back and add my darker so here it is so far I'm gonna dry it and I'll be right okay here it is dried you can still see some different color greens in there but I'm gonna do it one more time with less water, so I get my little extra chunkiness look to it. And I need a little more. So the less water you use, it's gonna be a little darker and more like chunky and blotchy. So if you want it to look more like watercolor, then you use a lot more water. Okay, I like in this one. We're gonna get it dry and we'll be back. Okay, here it is. And I'm just loving this. I love how these come out. Just from one single color. That is just from that, and that is just from that. So cool. One color makes all this multipleness.